This map won't stay on the wall. Hey, I'm Mechanical Engineer, and in today's video, we're going to be building a modern looking side table out of plywood. Not only do I love how this side table ends up looking, but it's also incredibly fun to build and relatively inexpensive since we are in fact making it out of plywood. And now the table I'm going to be making today is going to be 20 inches across. And I will leave a link for everything I used to make it down below. And in a short while, I will of course be showing you how I made it. But with that being said, half the fun of building something yourself is also being able to design it yourself. So feel free to go crazy and freestyle. This video is meant to be more of a template than it is a step-by-step -step guide. But enough talk. With all that being said, let's get started. To get started, the first thing I'm going to do is head out to Home Depot to pick up a sheet of pine plywood. After we've got a chance to look through the stack and find a board in relatively good condition, we can go ahead and bring it back on home and begin cutting it into 3 quarter inch square strips. There really isn't a set number of strips you'll need, that number will depend entirely upon the size of the table you want to make, but generally speaking, the more the merrier. I'm also going to cut out just one or two strips of oak wood so we can mix that within our table to help give it a little bit more fizzazz. Awesome, and now with a bunch of these cut out, we're going to want to start gluing and nailing them together, grain facing outwards in a triangular shape. Now we could just glue these together into a rectangle shape and then cut out our right triangle out of the center of that, but in order to save material, I like to cut the wood down beforehand. Now don't get me wrong, we're still going to have to cut the right triangle out after this, but this way we'll use a lot fewer boards and end up with a lot less waste. I realize that probably doesn't make any sense, so let me show you what I mean. All I'm really doing is cutting a few boards in half at different points and then arranging them in size, smallest to largest, and gluing and nailing them together into our triangle shape, as you can see here. After that, I'm just going to straighten out the edges with a circular saw, and we'll be ready for the next step. Perfect! And now here comes the fun part. We're going to want to take the rest of our strips and start gluing and nailing them anywhere and everywhere we want. The more random and unpredictable you get with it, the cooler the finished product will be. But this is going to be a table, so don't build up. Keep it as flat as possible. When we're done, we're going to cut this whole piece into a large circle. So to minimize wasted material, what I like to do is choose my center point now. Let's make our center point right about here. And now we just have to add material within a 10 inch radius of our center point and we should be golden. As you can see, because of how our triangle is set up, we only need to add a few boards over here to hit our 10 inch mark, but we're going to need to add quite a few over here to hit it. But as long as we keep all that in mind while we build this, we'll be able to stretch out our strips a lot longer and will greatly minimize any wasted material. So let's go ahead and get started, but don't forget to sprinkle in your oak strips every now and then to add a little bit of flavor. Yeah, and I think that just about does it, bug. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and take the router and attach it to the center point of this table so we can start cutting it into an actual circle. As I mentioned earlier, I want my table to be 20 inches across, which means we're going to want to mount the router 10 inches from the center point. So after we go ahead and mount the router in place, we can begin the circle cutting action. Now that is looking pretty good if I may say so myself, I'm really starting to like this. However, we are not out of the woods just yet, we still have a whole bunch of sanding to do, so let's get on that. Oh, that's nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and stain it with red mahogany, a 225. Hand sand it just a little bit after the stain has dried to give it more of a rustic matte finish. And then I'll go ahead and put on a protective clear coat of finish to help seal the deal.
here we are with it dry and I think it looks pretty awesome. Definitely very shiny. And so that brings us to the final step of the table making process and that is adding legs. Here I have some metal legs I picked up on Amazon for about four or five bucks each. They are super strong and I think they have the perfect look we're going for to complete the table. So let's go ahead and add them. Now they send these table legs in sets of four which adds up but i not only think we could get away with using just three legs i think it would actually look a lot better so i'm going to go ahead and see if we can't triangulate the positioning and then we can get to drilling we could use strings for this like we're supposed to but i'm not gonna lie i'm too lazy i'm just gonna use connects With that, I think we're done. And here we finally are with the finished table. Now while I was building this, I started thinking that you could do all sorts of cool patterns on top or maybe even add more or fewer legs, so I built an alternate version. As you can see, this one has four legs instead of the three, which I changed my mind, I do actually like. And all the wood grain extends from an off-center start point, which I think gives the table some nice contradiction. It is so crazy how different these tables look, even though they're virtually the same thing. Just the placement of the legs and the design on top changes the feel of everything. I'm not gonna lie though, although I love them both, I think I'm gonna have to go with a four-legged one as my favorite. But what do you guys think? Which table do you like better? The three legs or four? Let me know in the comments down below. But hey, thank you so much for guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.